Hello, I'm Ted, back again to show a few more bits and pieces this week and I'd like to start with um, some I've only just finished. It's a driftwood automata. And you can see that's the thing. So we got it. It's all yeah. you yeah, do you want to read it first? No, the water park was the other way. Should have gone to spec savers. Well that's why he's got a big pair of glasses on the saver too. See, then again, uh, Amy Rose, my little granddaughter, had a, an influence on the making of this because she came in with shed last Saturday morning. So that's nice, Granddad, but it's a bit dull looking, isn't it? <laughs> Things with ch children, they're so. Um, if you want the truth, ask a they're child. Brutally honest. Because, they, like uh, I said, in their, um, they're brutally honest in their innocence. And so when she said that, I thought I've got to add a bit more colour, so that's when I had the idea of making the birds. Yeah. So there's, there's four birds actually. Um, I could tell you what the name of them is, but that's a great skew. I've forgotten the names, so I wrote it down somewhere, but I can't know what I've done with it now. The ones, um, <laughs> I've forgotten the name, Sandpiper, I think. One is a curlew. Do you want to know which is which? <laughs> I can't remember. What, <laughs> what, what have we got then? Well, there's, there's a. <coughs> Sam, a great so skew. The black one. Uh, the one is a sandpiper. But that's so you've actually based these on, on, They're on actual real birds, birds yeah, and modelled them. I just them cannot quite remember. Such. I cannot remember the name of the birds now, but there again, it's not important, is it? I did write it down somewhere. No. Anyway, it's not important. Now, it's all driftwood. Um, all the wood you see is it's natural colours. That was a piece of wood I picked up off the beach. Well, the Isle of Grain actually in the Thames estuary. At some time in its life it's been painted green. Yeah. And that was actually about an inch thick, so I carefully cut it down the middle and used both sides for the um, for the the, uh, the wave effect. Yeah. But like so everything is driftwood, apart from sitting on a bit of plywood. You say it was an automata? Yeah, yeah. Thing. It's quite a nice effect with the wives, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I've got a pleasure there. Just trying to figure out a decent sequence with the, uh, the levers at the back. Trying to simulate the wives. It's nice though, isn't it? Yeah. So how does it work round the back? Like so. I just painted the this is painted obviously just to Yeah. Because I'd, to get this right, there's quite a few holes up to do and fill with polyfill, so I'll just give it a, a greenish finish. Basically just to match the natural green on the front. Yeah. But um yeah, it was fun working that out. Did it take much sussing out, did it? No, no, not really. A little bit of trolling out, but well, it's just nice effect. Just the uh, the wave effect. Yeah, it looks, looks nice, good, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. Not difficult to make. Just uh, it just requires a lot of patience, really. Bit of imagination. Same with most craft work, doesn't it? Yeah. Just bit of imagination and a lot of patience. Yeah. But you get in the end, and I think it's worth the trouble. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, um, oh yeah, next. Now, my son Stephen is a fine painter and a great artist, but he didn't get his painting skills from me. Um, so having said that, I'll show you something I made a few years ago now. Silhouette painting. Now, I think there's a great likeness here of my wife Barbara and daughter Debbie. That's, they're really accurate. And that's Debbie when she was about 15. I won't say how many years ago it was because they're a bit fussy, a bit ages, <laughs> but uh, she's a teenage girl in those days. That's some pretty weird hair stuff, yeah. but probably like they do today. But uh, how did I get it so accurate? Well, I'll tell you. Choose the coloured background you want and put, and put the sheet of paper on the wall. Type a sheet of paper on the wall about the size of someone sitting in a chair. Mm. Right, and then get a lead like um, a 
portable uh, a portable lamp or anything basically and set it opposite the picture on the wall so it throws a strong light and then set your subject down whether it be son, daughter, wife, husband, granddaughter yeah. and get them to sit about a foot from the wall and you find there's a real image on the paper from the lamp on the wall and all you need basically is just a steady hand just to trace carefully trace around it it only takes about two minutes if you can get them sit still for about two minutes and usually the younger the subject the harder it is so you know probably the promise of a chocolate but it wise. worked better when the, the light was further well, away then it's you tried it closer it's, up it's than it's it was too um, just work out which is a fairly strong bulb and um, which is the best distance for the subject from yeah. the wall and then the lamp to the wall and you can finish with getting a really strong image and all it carefully just trace around the outline and fill it in afterwards with paint. All yeah, choice yeah. The colours are your choice. Simple way of doing a portrait. And that's the simple way of doing a ratchet portrait. When you doesn't really need it because I haven't got any great painting skills, but I managed to do that just yeah. using that technique. Silhouette painting. Yeah. And they're great. You know, they're great to keep in the family because, you know, look at that tax we're back twenty five years immediately. Yeah. You know those hairstyles. You don't always catch that with an audio photograph, but you can with a, a silhouette. So, yeah, they're quite effective, isn't they? Yeah. So I think a lot of people don't give themselves the chance to find out, you know, what they're you know, capable of. There's hundreds of different mediums you can use from glass, wood, plastic, string. I think the, it's the sort of blank canvas. It's, blank it's, a, canvas. it's, a, it's, diff, but, it's hard, so it frightens a lot of people, doesn't well, it? Like when you're pe learning to paint. They don't give themselves the chance. You know, it's I'll, like I'll, an author getting, you know, yeah. writer's block, and it's the same sort of thing. Well, I've also it's getting over that fear, yeah. that fear of, of getting stuck in. Well, they've probably, they've probably got at least just one thing, probably more, but if they just give them the chance of a chance, and, uh, you know, and you can't set them too young, really. No. Um, so, oh, what else was going to mention? I could show the... Um, a couple of weeks back, I what showed you the Tangegram. Tangegram, that was it, and, yeah. uh, Where's that piece of paper? The piece of paper somewhere I'm showing you. With all the list of um, there's a list of all the things you could do. So <clears throat> anyway, I think it's lost the most. I can remember what they were. Put it's a piece of paper somewhere. So just have a supper to. <laughs> So anyway, I so said what's the first thing you're going to make? I said it start. Well, I did, I did the cat to start off. So I'll show you the rabbit to start off. It's coming together slowly. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's not as easy as it, is, as it looks, is it? No. Mind you, don't look at it, to be fair. There you go. Is that it? <laughs> That's it. There you go. That's the rabbit. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. one rabbit, yeah. Right, the next was the duck. I'll just come round this side, I think it'd be easier. Do you want me to on move on? Carry, carry, carry on as you go. <coughs> Can you... Hang on. Now we're doing the, uh, the duck. What's this one? The duck. This is the duck, yeah. So is that his... Yeah. You can see that it's more like a, like a, a swan, isn't it? Yeah, swan. like a swan, yeah. yeah. Okay, the duck. Yeah, what's the next one? The next, try the fish, remember, right? There's fish.
Yeah, it's coming together now, isn't it? <laughs> Fumbling slightly. Uh, that's not hard. That's it. Is it? <laughs> there you Is go. Fish or shark? That's the that's uh, what we call that shark, shall we? <laughs> but you can see it though, can't you? Yeah. 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 Uh, aircraft. An aircraft. Aircraft. Yeah. There we go. Is that? Yeah, that's yeah. a good one, yeah. Aircraft. Well, I showed the square last week, but... Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Is it the square you're doing now? I'll do the, yeah, we'll do the square <coughs> now. There you go. That's it, yeah. Okay, that's the square. What else you got in your repertoire? <laughs> What's this one? A rectangle? The rectangle. Ablong. Uh, There you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. That That's not quite right, is it? <laughs> it's, it's slightly... Uh, uh, slightly askew there. Now what's going on there? <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> Hang on, bear with me a second. What's gone wrong? No. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, the viewers can remember. suss the rectangle one Look, out for themselves. I'll tell you what, yeah, we'll think about the rectangle later. Now, I'm going to concentrate on the, um, the footballer. Footballer? Yeah, the footballer. Can you see the footballer there? It's, yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah? Just a very, very loose interpretation <laughs> of a footballer, isn't it? You can see that, can't you? <laughs> yeah. Right, finally, um, for now, the running man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So did, did we cover so, all of them? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so. I can't think of anything else. So you're just limited by your imagination, really. Well, really the, what you can make out of these things. Sorry, there are there are a lot more of those, but um, I can't cut them off. No, if you're in the paper, I can't remember. There must be millions, isn't there? If you, so, if, you, uh, if you went to the time. If anybody's got any questions. Suggestions, whatever. I'm always happy to receive them yeah. because um, I'm always looking for new ideas for Ultimate yeah. Driftwood or whatever. So it's always nice to receive the comments, um, especially Raggy, Raggy comments on a regular yeah. basis. And it's, I always like to read Raggy's comments. So um, especially in the daytime, because well, the thing is, my wife likes me in my shed first thing in the morning. <laughs> She won't let me out till after dark. <laughs> Not even then when it's full moon. And so it's nice to uh, break the monotony in the data and sometimes looking at the comments yeah. online. So, um, so I think that left a bit for now. I won't be able to do another one for probably about five, six weeks. I've got a, I've got a few maintenance jobs to do now. So it'll probably be, um, where are we? Probably beginning of March. So until then, I'll, I'll have to say, cheerio.